Welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. My name is Jolie and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist from the PIG Lab. Now in this video, I'll be analyzing a past year examination question on the topic of light. I've included this question in the handout which you can download for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. Without further ado, let's get started. The diagram below shows a man stopping at a roadside near a lamppost at night. Now a man was standing behind the car and part A asks how does this side mirror helps the driver to see the man standing behind the car at night. So in order to craft the answers, students are encouraged to draw light rays to show how light travels in order for the driver to see the man behind the car. So for this question, since a driver is not drawn, I will just draw a driver in the car so that it's easier for us to refer to. Now for this question, most students actually wrote light from the lamppost is reflected off the mirror into the driver's eyes. Now if students write this answer, what they're describing is actually how the driver is able to see the lamppost using the mirror. This explanation does not explain how the man behind the car could actually be seen. So instead of writing like that, what they should have done is another way. So how do we craft the answer? We should have said that light from the lamppost that shines on the man is actually reflected off the man and travels into the mirror, which is then reflected off the mirror into the driver's eyes, allowing the driver to see the man standing behind the car. So put it all together, how should your answer sound like? It should sound like this, okay? Light from the light source, which shines on the man, is reflected off the man, and then reflected off the mirror into the driver's eyes, allowing the driver to see the man behind the car. And that's the answer for part A. Now, for part B. So part B states, part Y covers the light bulb of the headlamps of the car, state the property of material that is suitable to make part Y. So for light questions, when they ask for the property of material, what the question is looking for is the transparency of part Y. So I'll write this here. We're looking for the transparency of part Y. So this means to choose whether part Y is transparent, translucent, or opaque. Please remember that transparency is not the same as transparent. Okay, transparency is the measure of how much light is able to pass through a material, whether the material is translucent, transparent, or opaque. Now, for transparent, it simply means that the material allows most light to pass through and does not block any light. So that is transparent material. Okay, now looking at part Y, we say that or we notice that it is covering the light bulb of the car, which gives off light. Now, what material, transparent, translucent, or opaque, should we use to cover the light bulb so that the driver is still able to drive safely on the road? Now, to drive safely, the driver would need to have light in order to see the objects in the surrounding the most clearly. So over here, what should we use? We should use a material that allows most light to pass through. So since we need to use a material that allows most light to pass through, would we choose a transparent, translucent, or opaque material for part Y? We would choose a transparent material. Why? It's so that most light from the lamp is able to pass through part Y to allow the driver to see the objects in the surrounding the most clearly. So that's your answer for part B. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you want to check out the other videos we have made, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. I'll see you next time. Bye bye!